For the longest time to get APKs on the Quest, I've been using an app called APK Peer, but a lot of users have been talking about how it has a whole lot of ads and they would love to see if there was another option. Well, I'm glad to tell you guys today, we have found a great solution that's very similar to the Google Play Store and looks impressive with less ads. Let's talk all about the Aurora Store. That's right, today we're talking all about the Aurora Store, which is an incredible Google Play-esque app store that you can use to download Android games and applications on your Quest device. This thing looks and feels just like Google Play. As you can see in the screenshots here, it's really impressive. But once again, there is a prerequisite. If you have not watched our video on how to install any Android app on Quest 3 with no PC required, you're going to go ahead and want to watch that video first. It's linked, of course, in the description as well as the top of this video so that you can watch this and make sure you know all the steps. So if you've already done the prerequisite video, then we're going to go to this website linked here. It should be linked at the bottom of the video as well as in the description. And we're going to download this application called FDroid, which is going to allow us to actually get the Aurora store. So we're going to hit download here. And remember when you want to check where your downloads are at on the Quest browser, you simply go to this three dot menu, click on downloads, and you can see I've downloaded it a few times uh, so that you know that it actually works. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump into you guys know this if you're a friend of the channel we're going to go into mobile vr station and now that we're inside mobile vr station quick disclaimer once again if you have not watched the prerequisite video and you have not actually used this app to install apks you may want to go watch that particular video as i will only be doing an overview on how to install with this video so we're going to go to android fixes configuration wizard show all options and configure scope storage and then of course we're gonna go to step one where it says request access you guys have seen this before once again if you've been on the channel we're gonna go find the quest 3 folder go to downloads and we should see a few versions of fdroid in here so all we have to do now is actually install fdroid which we're gonna do by clicking this four arrow button here remember it's gonna pop up with a warning expressing to you to be careful on what type of apks you install once again so all we need to do now is actually hit install and it's going to begin to install the application. And once it's actually done, we can go ahead and hit done here, close out this window and it's going to kick us back out into our home environment. So now let's actually go load up the application. We're going to go ahead and click on our MetaQuest button here, click on applications, go to all and then unknown sources. And then we should see FDroid right there. And once we're inside of FDroid, as you can see, it has some cool apps already here. I really wouldn't mess with any of those. What we will do is just go to search. We're going to top here to search and type in A-U-R-O-R-A. -R -R and we should see the Aurora store right there. Click on that, hit install, and it's going to begin to install the application. And once it's actually done, we can jump into it and check it out. So it's asking, can FDroid allow from this source install unknown apps? You're going to want to give it permission for this because if you don't, it won't be able to install the application. So we're going to go ahead and hit this and then let it install the application. And now that that's done, we should be good to go. We can hit open now. So now that we actually have Aurora Store installed, you're going to be greeted once you open it with a welcome screen. You're going to want to go ahead and click next and we're going to be greeted by the permission screen here. You want to make sure that you give it installer permission so that it can actually install applications, background downloads, so it can download and update apps in the background if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and grant this because this is something I definitely want to have going. And external storage, I don't think it really needs that for now. So I'm just going to keep that off and we're going to go to the next screen and then it's going to ask for app links this is really cool if i go into a website that has a google play app and it says hey do you want to download this app it'll, instead of trying to go to google play uh it'll actually come to the aurora store so i'm going to go ahead and enable that for here and also enable it for uh the market store as well for android so i'm gonna go ahead and hit finish on that and then this is what's kind of wild you can log in with your google account 
so it can have your geographic location to know the type of applications that you might like as well as your preferences or you can even do anonymous so the first time i tried to do anonymous uh the session didn't go all the way through but as you can see i'm actually in and it will not inhibit you from installing so you don't have to put your own google play information in or nothing like that so let's type in something like uh genshin impact just to see if it has it and look it's already going to come up boom there it is the application we can go ahead and install from the actual makers of the application no ads completely free once again just a clean ui even with some reviews in here other apps made by the same person uh really really cool so let's close out of this and let's try something else let me let's do um angry birds we always like to do uh, angry birds test to see what type of games they have in here so we can go to angry birds 2 I can go down here to install and actually go through the process of installing an application. You can see that it's download. Look at the UI on this. It's just a pretty UI here uh, and it functions really well. So it's gonna go ahead and go through the installation. And then when I hit install, it's going to go ahead and install the application. That's exactly what it wanted to do. Let's see if it actually went through. Look, it says an open button here. And remember, if you open it within here, it's gonna kind of create it within this window. Let's go ahead and open up the library. Once again, go to unknown sources. Let's find Angry Birds 2 and voila, we literally have Angry Birds 2 running on our quest. This is what it's all about, y'all. A clean UI. Look, the, the game's already loading up. I'm gonna go ahead and close up because I don't want the audio to mess up. But a clean UI for the store. I'm in as anonymous right now. So as you can see, it, it kind of shows if I was to maximize the screen a little bit. Uh, it doesn't show a whole lot of different types of applications that I could have, uh, but it's still cool. If I do sign in, to my account look at the difference it's going to make so now as you can see actually putting my google play information in allowed the application to kind of have a better basis of the type of applications i wanted to see and as you can see here the store looks clean i have not seen any form of ads at all like i can go to games and i'm not being fed like a bunch of different ads the entire time i can go to like streets of rage here look it's it's for pay which lets you know like they're legitimately um getting this straight from the store it looks really clean really good and i'm so happy now that we have an alternative to apk peer uh, i've used that for the longest but this looks really good and just to show you guys that it works i want to take you into one of the applications i actually installed and now here i am playing shadow for yes yes but well, there you have it folks there is how you install the aurora store on your meta quest 3 and play games like shadow fight 4 on your quest listen i am super excited about the ability to have applications like this running on the quest in a much more cleaner cleaner way in ui you know what else is pretty clean you know what else you should continue to check out hmm? this channel so why don't you subscribe why don't you hit that thumbs up why don't you comment below letting us know how much you enjoyed this content and hitting that bell notification so you can know the next time a video comes because i promise you we got a lot more content coming real soon it's your boy jay dunn and i'll see you next time peace